In this video guide, we're going to see how we can use Adobe Stock, which is an archive that we can use to retrieve, search, find, and download, save um, images, videos, and other assets. So we can get to the Adobe Stock by searching and getting inside directly the, the page. And we're going to start from the home page. We can also go to stock photos, uh, Royal to freeze. There, there are also some, some free asset right here. So this is going to be the, the interface and let's search for like Christmas. So we can search using a keyword right away here and just start to filter the images. And then you're going to see this search results here. So you, you have so many assets right here. You can see and if you go up here, you can also see if you want to go for uh, simple photos, photographs, or you can you want to find illustrations like uh, graphic uh, illustrations. So let's just give a look to this. So these are like illustrations right here. And then vector graphics. If you want to search for logo or icons, something like that. And then you have videos. There you go, video effects, animation, vertical videos, audio files. You have also templates that you can use for printed design, packaging, digital design, digital media in general, printed graphics, and so, so much more. Now, of course, it's better if you use uh, Adobe application when you want to use this. Because these are will be made like in uh, in design or Photoshop or Illustrator. You can also have a, a free section here, so this is when you can get uh, free photos, and free vectors, free videos, and other uh, interesting graphics. So let's say that I want to go for the backgrounds right here. There you go. So you can also try the full collection for free. Or you can just go here and select some of these free. Yeah, you can see here they have the free button available. So let's say that I like this. I'm going to click and I'm going to expand the image. Now uh, I can right click here and save the image. Let's, I'm going to save it here in the downloads. There you go. Let's open it up. So you can see there is like this little um, logo here, or you can just save it to library. This is going to save it in your um, account, Creative account, Cloud account. So you need to have, of course, uh, Creative Cloud, and you need to have a, an Adobe account if you want to save it to library. And you have other information here, like the number of, of the file. And you can also see the dimension here, which are 6k and so 6000 pixels width 4000 height and then you have the file type category and you also find similar like directly from the series of walls in this case or we find similar videos and other similar backgrounds right here so you can go like this and you can also click here and find similar so this is an interesting feature and you can find by similar content, you can find by similar color, or you can find by similar composition. So it's really, really handy when you are like narrowing your search into something more specific. Now, when you do a search, let me just go back here. You can also use filters. So if you go here, you have filters. You can filter and search for like only videos or only images, and then like only 4K videos, and then duration, frame rate, you know, all these parameters that usually we find in videos. If you search for images, it's gonna be like if you if you want like vector graphics or raster graphics, so if you want pixels or vectors that then you can manipulate like in Illustrator and then the orientation 
if you want icons, if you want transparent background, so that you can like do photo montages, if you want people, if you want people to be included or excluded, and so on. So you figure out here the rest. So it's really simple. You can also search by color for for a specific color. So it's really really, you know, a defined search, really specific search. Now uh, you can also do find similar and drag and drop an image from your uh, personal uh, folder in your computer. So if you click and drag here or you select, you're gonna get in your computer and you can select a picture and then look for a similar image in the Adobe stock. Now I'm gonna show you also, uh, because you can use uh, this one here and you can also use the Creative Cloud directly. And you can also download the Creative Cloud for desktop. This is again the browser. And this is because I, I wanted to show you that I make the access in my user. So I, I'm, I'm right now in my Adobe space. So where I can find here the Adobe stock, I can go here and it's gonna open up again the stock. Now, the only problem here is that it is, it's in Italian, but it's the same exact thing that you saw before. So if I search for Christmas or, uh, you know, Santa Claus, it's just the same exact thing. And you can also use this like inside some application. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how you can get an image, download it and use it. And I have Photoshop right now, so I'm going to use Photoshop. So I'm going to close this and, well, let's say that I want to go here again in the stock. So I can access from here or I can open up directly Photoshop. So if I can open up Photoshop from here. There you go. So let's wait for Photoshop to be opened. There you go. So you have also here uh, a space where you can save your file. So when you, let me show you here. When you go in the photo stock and you find something you like, let's say that I like, uh, I don't know, this. Well, you just, these are like um, uh, audios. So you click on the little heart, you're gonna save it in your library. Same goes for the other multimedia. So if I go here and select like this image, well, you can save it or you can download uh, a preview. So you can just save it in your library. Now let's say that I want this um, one here. I can save it in a library. I can manage library also from here. I can like choose um, another library or I can create a new one. So just click on a little heart and then manage and you can figure out your, you can manage your files and you can create a new one right away. So I'm gonna go back now in my area and there, there's my libraries right there. So you can see that I have like some pictures that I have chosen so I can use it now. I can, I can view it. Now, if I open up my Creative Cloud desktop application, you can see here also I can access the stock and marketplace. And then I have my file section and then I have my file shared with me and my libraries. So I can take this one and just click again. And that's going to open up Photoshop right there. And there you go. So now if I want, I can just modify this and then save it in my computer. So this will be all for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support us more, please join the channel as a supporter and check out other video guides and video courses. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.